Hello guys, um, Dan at TopGuinnell 377 here, and today I'm going to do an unboxing on something a little bit unusual. It's a little bit late now. And what you have here is the uh, Kenley Astronomical uh, Reflector Telescope 76700 tripod and uh, accessories. This has been a dream trying to get a telescope, and I've got it here right now. So it's not a professional unboxing or anything like that, it's just going to be something really simple. Nothing amazing, it's just an unboxing with a telescope. Uh, now you can see I've opened it a couple of times. Um, there's reasons for that, it's because I wanted to make sure it was alright before I, I gave it to you guys to have a look at. Um, so I'll open it up, this is the box. Lovely little box as you can see. I'll open the box up. So this first box here, I haven't actually opened this at all as you can see, is the tripod mount uh, that I got with this, which is actually really awesome. Um, sorry for the uh, uh, camera. Uh, I'm focusing, it's a little bit of a problem I've had today because it's quite dark in here. But this is the um, tripod mount, so we'll actually open this first, I think, the best thing to start with. So I actually left the scissors downstairs, I think, so I'll have to do it by hand. Right, I'm back again, and actually now I have a box, uh, some scissors, so I can actually get through it now. Um, yeah, no, I, I don't know why I didn't bring the scissors in the first place, but there you go. Right, so this is a tripod mount, it is, it is all metal, there's nothing plastic about it. There's a few plastic bits on it, obviously. Uh, I'll bring this back. It's a lovely big box, as you can see. I'll bring this all out and move the box out of the way. What oh, my box. As you can see, got lovely three uh, tripod mounts here that all connect as one. Box is going bleeding everywhere. Let's start to pee me off. I'll take it out and show you. This is one of the mounts. It's actually a really nice little thing. It's uh, very light as well. Um, so it's easy to sort of stack. You'll obviously get some bolts to tighten up here and whatever. Uh, really nice tripod there. I'll actually move these both out of the way so these uh, so we can actually get to the uh, item itself. So in here you've got the uh, telescope in this box. So I'll move this big one out of the way. Oh yeah, you also get uh, an instruction manual as well. Uh, so it'll tell you how to bolt the eyepieces on and everything like that. Really easy to set up, honestly, it's amazing. Put that there. So this is the main, this is what we've been looking at. Uh, the two white boxes left in the big box, I will do in a minute. So this is what I'm going to show you. In this, Yes, this is how it's packaged. I have had a look at it and I'll put it back exactly how it was packaged. As far as I'm concerned anyway. <laughs> right, there's the foam. I don't know, I can't remember where that went so I just shoved it down the side thinking it would be alright. I'm guessing it is. Right. So if the camera's off uh, focus or anything like that, I just had to use my phone today because um, the camcorder still hasn't bleeding calm. It's been two weeks. So I'll have to use my phone again. That's what I love about an unboxing. You never know what's going to come around the corner, do you, hey? Right. So this is the telescope itself. I'm going to take out the wrapper in. It's actually a really, really smart little telescope. I really do think, actually, for, for what I paid for, it's definitely a, a really nice piece of kit. Now, when I got this out of the box, there was a bit of a problem. The cap up here was jammed between, there's a metal black ring around here. I don't know if you can actually see that. The lighting is awful, I'm so sorry. Uh, but there's a black ring around here. And inside that is the plastic cap, this cap here. This was actually jammed sort of side on like that and I could not get it out so I had to unscrew this metal thing here unscrew the metal layering and then pull it out and it took a good 10 minutes or so I don't know why that happened um, so no I, I, was, I wasn't disappointed with it at all but it just be aware that if you're gonna take, try and take this out try and sort of force it out maybe take this rubber uh, this metal ring off first then try and take the plastic out so you don't damage anything or drop anything to the mirrors so that's the plastic covering and inside that I don't know if you can actually see a mirror Yes, you can look. The mirror's my phone recording it. <laughs> nope. Um, and it is really, really nice. You've got a nice focus lens there. You've got sort of focusing just there. Um, the tripod mount, which I was going to be clipping on there, obviously, and it's one on the other side as well. So yeah, it's a lovely piece of kit. You've also also got, um, forgot to say, you've got the uh, rear adjuster for the mirrors and stuff. Right now, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the accessories, uh, accessories you get with this. So this is. You get two more boxes, now, but you're wondering what they're for. Well, they're for one of them is for the mount for the telescope to actually go on top of. So this is the mount. Uh, this actually for it is full metal. Uh, honestly, it's the whole thing is it looks like a plastic, but it's actually metal. 
um, except for this bit obviously it's plastic, but everything else is metal on it and it's really really heavy duty. So I'm definitely pleased with that, look you can see the metal. Really really thick isn't it? Okay, so no, that definitely does the job, hopefully. <laughs> with that aside. Lovely boxes, please move. And then we move to the eyepieces here. So when you get the tripod out, when you build it together as a, as, as a tripod mount, this here sits in the middle. I think you get some bolts with that as well, yeah. And that will clip on in the middle. And you can put your eyepieces inside there so at night you don't drop them or anything like that. You've got somewhere to put the eyepieces, which is a really cool touch, actually. Um, shouldn't drop it like that, it's not a good idea. You've got Then you've got here is the... Um, so if you're focusing on, I don't know, uh, some kind of planet or uh, moon, this is your focus lens, so you'll focus on it looking through here. And once you've got an eye on it, you can then look through the telescope itself to see a full um, image of whatever you're looking at. Um, so this is, this is not meant to be zoomed in or anything like that, this is just to focus on the object you're looking at. As you can see, that'll clip on the top, so you just sort of look through it. Lovely piece of kit there. All metal, except from these plastic stands here and everything like that. This is metal again. There you go. You've got these. Now these three are the what, the smallest uh, sight pieces you've got for this. There are bigger ones. I'll show you the small ones though. One's a 4mm, one's a 24 and something like that. I don't know. I, I didn't fully check so I'll need to double check. So you get me little pots so you don't damage them obviously. So this one here. When you open it up, just pull the lid. Drop it out. Make sure you try not to touch the lens on it. This is all metal as usual. Uh, this one is a 20 H 20 mil. I don't know if you can see that. But there's, a, there's right in there. I don't know if you can actually see that or not. No. Okay. So anyway, it's so a H 20 mil. Uh, zoom in, which is actually really, really nice. I think that's actually the biggest one. I think, as far as I remember. This one here. This one is a. You can see my needle. This one is all the smallest one available. Uh, this one is a four millimeter. Lovely piece of kit there. It's really nice. Man, I'm, you know, I'm so warm at the moment. I've been, I think it's spent, I spent over an hour trying to set up the tripod and stuff. It's been an absolute nightmare. And setting up my audacity to record my voice and stuff like that. Because uh, my phone's not very really good, so I use my mic. Uh, then this one is a 2.5mm. Then you've got the bolt. This is to bolt the telescope to the tripod, uh, tri-mount, pod, whatever you want to call it. Right, in here... Uh, another two bits for the tri-mount. This is to connect to the side of the telescope to the tri-mount so you can move it slowly. Do you know, it's my first unboxing video as well, so sorry if it's a bit rough. Uh, I just wish my camcorder came up. I had to do a lot better job of it. So you got this, the metal itself. Got the little bolt as well. Uh, this is like another mini tri-mount thing. This goes onto the telescope as well. Uh, it's for movement as well. Now this one's made of plastic. Like I said, you, don't, you shouldn't need to worry about it because um, it's actually quite good quality plastic, so I wouldn't worry. But yeah, the, the telescope would almost like sort of sit, up. It would go down the middle. Really nice there. Right, right. Now these are the slightly bigger um, eye pieces. I'll let you look in it. You can't actually see, so I will pop through. This is one of the big ones. This is one of I haven't actually seen these ones yet, so I don't know what I'm looking at. This is new to me. Uh, I'll pop this out. You guys are thinking of getting this telescope for, for the money you pay for it because you know a lot of people still say it's quite expensive but for a first timer it's a really good idea to go for it. Take the ends off, if I can actually take it off, I'll show you, look. So this here you can pop this off at the end and you can screw this off so you, got your, you can clip that into say the, oh, the telescope itself. Really nice eyepiece there, just make sure you just stick on the stuff. On. There's a little clip. If I can actually put that back in, you want to you need to unscrew that. Oh, pop on it goes. Next up, we have one more item. I think. Yep. We have this is the Times Two uh, Barlow um, uh, eyepiece, and this is the one everyone wants. This is a really decent one. This is where you. This is the good one to look at. if you want to see Jupiter or uh, Venus or something like that. This definitely is the one to go for. The Times Two Barlow. That's quite a good one. Take the ends off. You can see a very nice eyepiece there. This is the telescope again, once again. You can obviously, you, you take the plastic bit off here. And my, my hands are really veiny today. Just realised on the camera. Do you know what? I'm getting a gun against me today. Go so unscrew that end there. Take that mount off there. 
and then you can plug something in there well you can have it like that and then plug your eyepiece in there it basically works like that you can all see the mirror now already look uh, what you do need to do as you'll see on the right hand side of the screen you'll see the laser you need to use for this if you say take this uh, across country or you take this in the car sometimes the rear mirrors down here this is the adjusters for the rear mirror it's there's the primary mirror and the uh, century mirror I don't know something like that I've been I've been looking up I've sort of forgotten I've been so busy today I don't even know what I'm doing anymore the primary mirror is I'm guessing is this one here uh, needs to make you make you need to make sure that's straight so when you go on a journey a long journey or so and so uh, sometimes that can adjust itself very slightly so what you need to do is you'll, you'll get buy a 50 pound uh, telescope laser I can't think what it's called now certain laser I'll put it in the description for you guys to have a look at if you need to you put it through this hole here and it will centre up with this mirror here uh, you've got three screws four screws even three sorry what am I talking about and you adjust the mirror there um, you, then the laser will go into that and you've got to try and get the laser to be sort of spot on in that so you know it's cent uh, cent centred but no this is the Kenley uh, 76700 telescope uh, I think that's basically it guys it reaches to my knees no problem in height it's really good um, what I'll do is I'll do another video on this working in the back garden um, and just see what you guys think of it setting up I might even try to see I might just take a picture and just add it to the uh, video now if you like this video guys please like subscribe and comment down below guys it does help me a lot this is the uh, Kenley reflector telescope uh, 76 700 tri uh, tripod and accessories this is a really good telescope for starters, obviously, or whoever you, if, even if you, even if you've been doing it for a while, you can still go for this, something like this. It's really decent. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll speak to you soon. The Kenley Telescope.